Okay, so I got this new topic from a friend. She wanted me to talk about um, uh, why feminine, feminists hate men so much. Or, okay, I'm sorry. It's a different one. Let me look it up real quick. Um, feminism and double standards. Oh, <laughs> this is a really good one. Really, I like this one because this is how we really... It's it's really touch it's a really touchy touchy um subject in a way if you ask me but um in many different ways uh feminism really is uh all about equality for women both sexes men and women really but do you really in the in the military it's not really equal women can get away with a lot more things because they have that lust factor and men really can't get away with a lot of things that they should be able to as well as in a woman and I I believe that I think a woman gets away with all those stuff is because she plays that puppy dog thing really that shit's not gonna work with me and that's why a lot of women hate me is because it doesn't it doesn't work with me like like I know I can name a few people in the military that I dislike because they play that factor. They're like, well, I can't do that because I'm a woman. Will you fucking join the army and you always want that right for equality? Well, guess what, bitch? You're fucking equal right now, so you're an equal soldier, so you can do that. Whether you try your hardest or you don't, you can carry your fucking load. I don't care. Well, you will get a load blown on you. That's, that's how it is. And then it's not only that, but it, it's like everything. Like a woman wants to, wants to be treated the same as her husband. No, that's not how it happens. It it doesn't happen like that. You're not going to be treated as the same way as I am because I can take a lot more shit than you can. Granted, you can take more pain. You have a fucking baby, but then again, half the time, most of you guys are fucking numb from this shit. I think I think I don't think women are equal as men. Personally, I don't because it's just just like a presidency. You're not. Re I don't think the United States is or the world is ready for a president that's a you know, that's a woman, especially during our wartime. They don't look women at the same thing. I have no against. I mean, I have no offense against women. I have my sister. I have my cousin. My two cousins who I love dearly, and my sister I love dearly, and my aunts and my grandmother, but. I just don't think women are equal, and they won't be equal because they're not, they're not equal. Most of the time, I, you know, and most of the time you can see that a woman has more power than a man, but that's until, that that's until it goes so far until somebody sees, hey, look, she's taking advantage of you. Um, I really can't say too much on this subject, but I could say that what I believe in, it's like, during in the army and the military you don't see equal equality at all between the sexes because of the fact that the girl likes to play her little fucking her little factor says hey I'm a woman I don't need to do this because of that but yet she's the first that wants the rewards no that is not how it happens but it not not all women are like that like there's some good soldiers out there like Nicole Janice she's a fucking outstanding soldier and that's the only female soldier that I know <laughs> right off the bat. But other female soldiers, like we have a soldier named Myrick. She's very first. She's the first to complain. She'll complain about anything and everything. You know, it's not fair. Yeah, and then we have men that act like women that complain more than fucking women. But you guys, seriously, like, I don't hate women. I just don't think they're equal to me because... I just have my personal facts. Like, I could say it, but, I mean, I can't think of how to say it right now. <laughs> but, um, let's go ahead and, and, and uh, read some other people's personal thoughts about this shit. Like, uh, she was saying, man, many people ask why feminists hate men so much. I think the real question is why men hate women so much. And... And it is a valid statement. Like, it's funny because when I was out with dinner, 
Today, there were two guys talking about how their day was shitty because they had to work with three women. I couldn't help but think, gee, I would love to hear what those three women had to say about those two fat asses. The comment on that is like, a lot of men hate working with men because it's all about they either ask too many questions, they fucking, they, they, like I said, they try to show off to the boss. And most of the time, if they're a prettier type chick, you're basically doing their work and they act like, oh, I'm such a dumb blonde. But yet, hey, every time you go to the bank, who gets shit done? Women. Are there sexist men? Absolutely, I agree. Equal rights for women, but that's it. A fair chance. No more affirmative action. Well, of course, you don't put affirmative action on it because it's mainly a fucking... Did they, there's equal opportunity for both sexes now, and it's hard to put affirmative action on that. Like, you go to any job place, what do you see? Equal women, that was my chimichanga. There's equal men and women working there. You hardly ever see that, that you need affirmative action. If you do, you're fucking, it's bad. Then she says, then I strongly encourage you to consider the definition of feminism, a collection of movements, aimed at defining, establishing, and defending equal political, economic, and social rights for women. In addition, feminism seeks to establish equal opportunities for women in education and, and, and employment. <laughs> well, let's look at education. Who, who's smarter, men or women? Fucking Asians. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Women are. 99% of the time, women are going to be smarter. That's because... They have better memories and they're able to obtain knowledge easier and better. Equal opportunities is affirmative action. Not really. That guy's probably more wrong than fucking two guys fucking. That equal opportunities is not affirmative actual, uh, action. Affir equal opportunities is equal opportunities. Affirmative action is where you have to do something. We don't have to have equal opportunities. No. Don't condemn me or treat me any less than you would a man because I have a vagina and tits. I'm not less of a person and I don't deserve less respect and equal treatment because I have two X chromosomes. Well, you know what? I'm not going to treat you different, but I think you need to prove yourself to me. And that's how it needs to be. You need to prove yourself and to earn that respect. Respect is not given anymore. It's, res it's earned. And for me, you have to earn that shit. Why you gotta change it like that? I'm not condemning nor treating you less. I want you to be treated like I am, exactly like I am. I want it to be, if we both apply to school, they base it off of merit, not because they have less women than men. If you want real equality, you're gonna have to take the bad with a good such as signing up for the draft. Uh, I really do think women should sign up for the draft, but you don't see. Basically, when you have a draft, what happens? Those Fucking jobs go into combat arms. Combat arms, what happens? Do combat arms have fucking females? Hmm, maybe one or two, some of certain certain jobs. But infantry, 11 Charlies, 11 Bravos, 13 Foxes, uh, 13 Bravos, those do not have females in them. And that's where a lot of them go because you need artillery and you need infantry. And your scouts, no, they don't. They don't have females in them. So when the draft occurs, that's what happens. They look at those jobs, and those jobs bump up. Well, this guy's a fucking idiot already. Actually, it is legal for women to be in the draft. Yes, you are co correct in certain states. And you don't sign up for the draft. Draft You are drafted. Tec you technically sign up by turning 18. And it's not the draft anymore. It's called some kind of selection. Also, the last time we had a draft was in Vietnam. The government tries not to have a draft in the first place. That That's not necessarily rele relevant. People mistaken feminism for sexism. That's the point. You're right. Totally right. You, I totally agree with her. I totally agree with her. The argument that he has, you actually do sign up for a draft, is called selective service. Exactly. It's called selective service. You do it at your local fucking post office. You know, it's punishable at all if you don't. Technically, no, because there's requirements to do it. You don't have to. You can get out of it because of certain certain degrees. And females are not included in that. Like I said, in certain states. God, this guy's a fucking idiot. And yes, the government tries not to have the draft, but eventually we'll have a war 
where average men are drafted and fight and die whether they like it or not. Somebody really needs to punch this guy. Really. Because he's a fucking idiot. The point, the point is mute. Who said women don't feel it's fair to be considered for the draft? You can't judge a whole for a few points. Wanting equality is wanting equality. No matter when or where or how. Thank you. You cannot judge a whole for a few points. Such as saying, why do men hate women? When in reality it's only a viewpoint of view. In case you didn't catch it, it's partially a joke. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it was a joke. But. When you fucking look at feminism. It's it's different on many points. It's a very touchy, touchy subject because of the fact that women have their own opinion. And, you know, and it's always the strong woman. Always the woman that really does not fuck up. That does not think she needs to be fucking equal as man. It's the one that thinks that, hey, she does this, she does that. Men, on however, we're not going to think the same thing. We're always going to think you're the same fucking pretty girl that doesn't need to do this. Well, you know what? I, it's already 11 minutes and I can't discuss because this is already a longer discussion than it needs to be. So, and we can discuss in comments. Alright, thank you. Bye.